start. Thank you all for joining in. This is a really good number of people that have joined in. Uh, again, uh, please let us know if you cannot see us or hear us. But it seems like everything looks okay so far. Um, so this is um, the Remade webinar series. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, Remade is a project um, started in September 2022. It's a Horizon Europe project. Um, thank you, Alejandro, for confirming. Um, and we are here to support materials development and circular economy. And we do this by bringing the research infrastructures closer to the scientists who are working in this field. Um, that is for that is remade at ARI, and this remade at ARI webinar series is uh, our way of um, reaching out to users, new users, potential users, consortium, the public, and uh, outreaching to them and reaching out to them and letting them know about the various different services that we provide um, in achieving this goal of materials development for circular economy. And this is um, the series. And this series runs almost uh, once a month or maybe uh, two times a month. Uh, sometimes we have a talk on uh, Fridays, um, at, sometimes in the morning and sometimes in the afternoon. Um, and this is reaching out to all of you uh, to let you know about what Remade at RE is about and how we can serve you best. So for today, we have a special talk, and this is a initiative by one of our work packages. And this talk is on the industrial routes of Remade Atari. And to enlighten us about the various industry options within Remade Atari, which is very unique for a research infrastructure project, we have um, Dr. Virginia. She is a, a manager working at the Alba Synchrotron facility and she's part of our work package six, uh, which is the industry and innovation work package. And she will let us know more about what is available out there for applicants and industries for you and for universities in terms of the industry routes. I pass it on to you, Virginia. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Lakshmi, for the introduction. Uh, let me share my screen. I think you can all hear me correctly and see my screen. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so, uh, yes, yeah, as Lakshmi already introduced, so today this talk we wanted to focus on the opportunities for industry um, within the Remade and ARI project. Uh, and we will start by uh, explaining a little bit what the project is about. And I will add on to what Lakshmi already introduced and then delve into the opportunities that we have for uh, specific for SMEs, for small and medium enterprises, and also the opportunities that we have for all types of industries and research and technology organizations. Um, finally, we will uh, go a little bit into more details of uh, the application requirements to, to apply to these uh, programs. And we will finish by a question and answer session um, where we can address all the specific questions that you might have. Um, I would encourage you to, to use the Q&A option on the webinar to send your questions at any time of the, of the talk, and then we will address them at the, at the end. Um, so um, first, we will start a little bit about Remade at ARI. And as, uh, as, as Lakshmi introduced, Remade at ARI is a project that's trying to put the most advanced analytical tools that we have in Europe um, in the hands of researchers from academia or industry working on recyclable materials and circular economy related projects. We are a consortia of more than 50 different centers of advanced uh, characterization, and we're putting our tools at your service. So the goal of the project or this overall goal, we can define it as putting this science at the service for the circular economy. And again, we have these analytical facilities, this instrumentation, these methods, and the know-how, how to use them to uh, characterize uh, materials. And we want to put them in, in your service to support the development of new circular materials, or for example, the development of optimization uh, of recycling processes. So what we need is we need 
you to bring in the challenge and hopefully we can provide the measurements, the technical expertise and give you this additional information that will help you advance on your uh, on your research. And for the for the more curious ones um, here, I can I can summarize a little bit of the techniques that we have. So remake that Ari is a consortium of consortia. Um, so we we englobe uh, a lot of uh, different organizations around Europe that um, that uh, combine that are groups of facilities that use the same type of techniques to look at materials. So, for example, um, I work at Alba Synchrotron, uh, where we use photons, we use X-ray, uh, uh, we use light or X-rays to characterize materials. This would be the LIPS um, organizations. So all the all the facilities that use light to characterize materials, but then we also have Radiate, which uses ions for material characterizations. We have Lens, which are all the facilities that use neutrons um, also to characterize uh, different, different materials. Uh, EMFL that use high magnetic fields, eDream that uses electrons, or Laser Lab that use lasers. <laughs> Um, and then all, all other consortia that use like a variety of tools. And with that, we, we generate a portfolio of tools to characterize materials that is very, very broad and can be used in a lot of different um, areas. In this case, we put here the seven target areas of the circular, the European Circular Economy Target um, Action Plan, which is plastics, packaging, vehicles and batteries, electronics, construction, textiles, food, water and nutrients. And we want to emphasize that all our tools can be used, can be applied to all of these different areas. And for the ones that are a bit more technologically savvy and want to gossip a little bit about the techniques that we have, we have a um, catalog in our website where you can look in detail of all of our techniques, all of our facilities. And also we have included a little bit of explanations on what these techniques can give you. So you can access that in, in our website. And also I would encourage you to look at this uh, webinar series where we also had experts from from our network to uh, that explained that they give lectures of how these different techniques can be used in different fields related to the circular economy. So all that is, is out there. But today I want to focus on what we can do for industry because we have all this portfolio of techniques, but we want to make them available for industry. And as Lakshmi said, the Remate and Ari project has a dedicated work package to target to to tailor our services to industry. And First of all, what we do is we want to be there for you. So even if you don't apply to any of our, of our facilities, we offer free guidance to see if any of our techniques can maybe help your uh, project. So you can always contact us and see um, and get our advice, technical advice on the different techniques that we offer and then see if any of of our um, facilities or techniques can, can help your project, but also we can connect you with the right stakeholders, maybe facilities, maybe research and technology organizations to help you advance. And um, obviously we will guide you through the whole process if you decide to apply. Uh, and today I wanna to present you, we also have created two specific access routes for industry that are tailored to adapt to the industrial needs. Um, and today we wanna to present those to you. And we will start with the route that we have created for small and medium companies. So the European Commission describes small and medium enterprises as central to European transition towards a sustainable economy. And this is not just because they represent 99% of all businesses in, in Europe, but also because and they account for more than half of the Euro's GDP. But most importantly, it's because SMEs bring innovation, innovative solutions to challenge to these challenges that we have right now, and they help spread this innovation throughout Europe. So from Remate at Ari, we want to support small and medium uh, enterprises. But how can we do that? We do that with a program that we have created, which is called Remate SME. And this is a very simple description of the program. What we do is we offer free access to our facilities. We offer free transnational access to our facilities so that small and medium companies can advance in their research and development projects using our tools. Um, and we are aware that um, SMEs might not have the technical expertise that is required to, to know which technique or to analyze the data that we get after our characterization. So we offer this full service. That means that we include the data collection, but also data analysis. So you only need to send us the samples and then we will do the rest. 
And finally, we know that SMEs have a different working pace, so they sometimes cannot adhere to, to specific calls. So what we have designed this, pro this program with a, a rolling uh, call, meaning that you can send your proposal at any time and we will process it immediately. Um, so you don't need to wait <laughs> until a call is open, so you can directly send your proposal and your results will be fully confidential. Um, but I think that an example might be better than a thousand words here. So we want to present a success story from a first call. Uh, this is a company, a Spanish company, an SME called Tesela, which is working on a European project uh, uh, called Sea Shield. Thank you, Tesela, for uh, we want to thank Tesela for letting us share this success story with with all of you. Uh, so Tesela is working on on developing new cement mixtures um, that incorporate. Um, recycled aggregates that uh, are byproducts from the steel, from the metallurg metallurgical industry. So they're getting uh, these new cements uh, with uh, with a recycled com uh, composition, and they uh, will use these cements to to uh, for radiation shielding in nuclear facilities. Um, Tesela already has uh, um, standard characterization techniques in their portfolio. They already they already characterize the materials that they create, but they wanted to look at how these new materials that they are um, generating will work uh, for for the shielding capabilities towards towards radiation. And in this case, what they did was apply to remade SME to access the ILL, which is a neutron characterization. A facility in, in Grenoble, and they will go to ILL and use our uh, tools there. They will combine a lot of the characterization tools that the ILL has to offer to not only look at the shielding capabilities of their materials, but also to understand how their materials um, maybe change or, or withstand the radiation. So they will also look at inside of their materials and see what's going on there. So this is an example on, on how an SME can use Remade SME to access one of our characterization tools. And now the Tesla has this opportunity to, to, to use this advanced um, characterization facility. Um, then for industry, for all types of industry and research uh, and technology organizations, from, from the project, we realized that companies face a significant challenge in transition towards a circular economy production model. And that means that sometimes these challenges are much bigger and they exceed the capacity of a single access to or one of our infrastructures. For these big and complex industrial challenges, sometimes more research is needed to translate the challenges into specific scientific inquir inquiries. That, um, so then we are wondering how does Remade support addressing these complex industrial challenges? And we do that by a program called Remade Int. Remade Int is made to support the, um, the collaboration between industry and research and technology organizations, which could be knowledge providers, which could be universities, um, and help this collaboration uh, access our facilities. So in this case, industry brings in a specific challenge, then the research and technology organizations bring in the knowledge and the technical expertise. And what we do is we put the tools at the disposal. And how does the Remade In project support these type of partnerships? We do that by providing uh, grants of, oh, one second. Too fast. We do that by providing grants of uh, 30,000 euros per project for customization of access. This means that everything that surrounds accessing one of our facilities can be supported by this money. We're talking about all the expert services that are provided by the uh, research and technology organization. This means from uh, staff hours to prepare the experimental plan, um, to come do the experiments or to do the data analysis. Um, this also means consumables that could be needed to actually do the experiment. Also means travel expenses. Anything that surrounds the access to one of our facilities can be covered by this 30,000 euro grant. The only thing that, can, that we cannot cover with this grant is the access itself. And here again, I think an, an example could be the best way to explain how this how this remade in project works. So um, we have been uh, allowed by uh, Siemens Energy and Exploration to present uh, one of their uh, proposals that got accepted in the first call of remade in. Uh, we just focus on, on studying additive manufacturing process. Uh, so Siemens uh, uh, Energy and Exploration have been 
studying these additive manufacturing processes, which is uh, in a very short way, uh, a way of like 3D print material. Uh, and it's a very promising, it has very promising contributions towards the circular economy because it allows us to minimize the amount of raw materials that we use for manufacturing processes. It can, it might allow the, the potential reuse of raw materials or also optimize the energy and time required to manufacture um, different, different uh, uh, um, structures. So, however, if this, if this, technology needs to be implemented in, in more demanding sectors, the quality of the printed materials must be verified. And this is where the ESRF, one of our synchrotron facilities uh, that are part of the of the remade at ARI consortia comes into place. Because when, when we 3D print hollow structures, the quality of the surfaces on the interior of these hollow structures is very difficult to verify. And then maybe these components contain remen remnant of the raw material, which would be a problem for their use in, in demanding sectors. Um, so here, Exploration Siemens are going to uh, uh, ESRF with a remade in grant, where they will be using X-ray microtomography to examine the internal structure of these additive manufacturer components. And they will use the grant in this case to cover all the efforts by exploration to prepare the experiment and to do the complete data analysis of this uh, microtomography experiment. So with that, I wanna summarize the two industry calls that we have. Again, we have for Remate SME, uh, a free full service access to our uh, research infrastructures for more uh, limited projects for small and medium enterprises working on circular economy. And then for Remate Int, we have this 30,000 euro grant for companies working in partnership with a knowledge provider or research and technology organization that want to work in our uh, um, research infrastructures. And then here we go a little bit of the application. So what do we specifically require? Um, in this case, for remade SME, again, it's only uh, small and medium enterprises that can apply. And we have an additional, um, an additional consideration that is that they need to apply for transnational access. This means that a Spanish company like the Sela that I explained before cannot access a facility that is based on Spain. Nevertheless, Remade at ARI has more than 50 uh, um, characterization centers, advanced research infrastructure, so we're sure around Europe. So we're sure that we'll find a place that will uh, suit your needs. Um, again, uh, Remake SME can be used to apply to at least one technique, but that means that you can also apply to more than one. So you can combine access to a couple of techniques or even combine access to two of uh, uh, our facilities. For example, combining electron microscopy characterization with a neutron-based characterization or a synchrotron-based characterization. Um, and finally, Remake SME is for simple measurements, so they're not complex, ex complex experiments. They're more what we call a mail-in type of experiments. You send us the samples, we measure them, send them back to you. Um, nevertheless, we include the data analysis in, in, the, in the process. Um, and how does the timeline look for you? So we always recommend you to contact us first. If you don't know where to go, you, or if you don't know even if which technique that of the ones that we have could suit your needs, you can just email us at our general uh, email address, industry at remadeproject.au. But uh, if you already know which facility you would like to access, then you're welcome to contact them. We have a list of the facilities in our website. Um, after contacting someone from the Remade at ARI project, then you're ready to submit a proposal. Again, for Remade SME, we try to keep things as simple as possible. So proposals are very, very short. There's a one-page simple proposal that you can prepare in collaboration with us or with the facility where you're gonna go. And you can submit it in our, in our centralized portal. You have links on our website everywhere. And then again, the proposals will be immediately evaluated. So you will get your acceptance or rejection of your proposal within a couple of months of submission. And then you're ready to go. So you can, uh, the facility will contact you and you can schedule the measurements at your earliest convenience. Here, we leave it to the facility and the SME to agree on a time. And once the measurements have been done, then you will get a report with your results and, uh, and, and the data analysis. Uh, for remade SME, there is no need to publish results. Everything is going to be confidential. In the case of remade int, again, remade int is only for industry, any type of industry, but industry working in collaboration with a research and technology organization. It can be 
a knowledge provider, a service provider, a university, anyone that can provide these, these services. Uh, we request that you have an IP agreement uh, before the start of the project to avoid any uh, conflicts later on. Again, Remit in gives you 30,000 euros per proposal that can be used for anything related to the access except the access itself. Um, and the projects are, gonna, uh, are a bit longer than Remit SME projects. So we're talking about 18 months projects uh, and the reimbursement of the 30,000 euros will be done at the end of the project. And here again, you have the timeline of the Remit in uh, projects. We again recommend you, highly recommend you to contact us so we can put you in contact with the right facility or contact directly the facility if you already have, uh, have decided where you would like to go. Um, but it's very important to contact someone from the Remate at ARI organization, especially because as Remate Int grants cannot be used to cover beam time, it's important to have conversations with the facility to understand which options do you have to, to access um, the facility. Then you're welcome to submit a proposal. It's a proposal that is prepared uh, in collaboration between the industry and the research and technology organization. And we want to remind you that the last call for Remate Int proposals is going to be uh, it's going to close this August 30th this year, so we encourage you to apply for this with for this last call. We will open the call on the 19th of April and will close at the 30th of August. Um, proposals will be evaluated once the close is once the call is closed, and the results will be announced at the latest by October 2024. So once the results are announced, the projects can start being executed, and again they need to be executed within 18 months from from the acceptance. Um, we have a minimal reporting requirements. We will ask you for a midterm report and a final report, very short, uh, just to, to follow up on your project. And again, the reimbursement of the project related expenses up to 30,000 euros will be done at the end of the project. You will have access to all the documentation related to these uh, two calls in our website, the remadeproject.au. We have a tab called useful documents, and there you can find the terms of use of both calls uh, with details of how we evaluate the proposals, what do we what the, we ask our external reviewers to look into when they evaluate your proposals. We also have templates for the proposal itself. So you can start looking at which type of questions we ask and see how simple they actually are. We try to simplify the process as much as possible. Um, and then we also have templates for the remade in in case that uh, for the reporting later on. And with that, I think I explained the two uh, calls. Uh, so we are reaching the question and answer part uh, of, of this webinar. Um, I think to try, now I welcome you to use the Q&A or the chat function to, to ask questions. I see already a little bit of, of bubbles popping up. Um, but I wanted to maybe put a summary of the two calls, a comparison of the two calls, so I can summarize them while you're thinking about uh, a bit more questions. So again, for remade SME, SMEs can apply, only SMEs can apply to, to this program. They can apply at any time um, and they get free access. So they get free access to at least one technique, few hours measurement. In this case, beam time is included and the data analysis is included, but no additional expenses. So if you want to travel or if you want to ship your samples, you need to cover for that. Um, in the case of remade in, any size industry can apply here but it has to be in collaboration with a research and technology organization, knowledge provider, university, et cetera. Um, the last call for applying is August 2024, at the end of August 2024, and you get this 30,000 euros to cover everything related to the access to one or facilities, except the access itself. Um, it's for longer projects um, and that use the RTO's expertise and knowledge to help this industry challenge. Um, the beam time, again, is not included, but uh, any other services. Data analysis, yes, because it's a service that can be provided by the RTO, so it can be included in the budget of the grant, and any additional expenses are also covered because they can be included in the budget of the grant. And with that, I will thank you all for your attention and for joining us this morning, and I will um, at your disposal to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you very much, Virginia. I've, I've seen that there are already some questions uh, on the chat and the Q&A uh, part. Um, one of the questions that it's probably answered with this table, but it's very good that we, we are here now and that 
maybe you can emphasize a little bit more. Um, they are asking if this 30, so they say that this 30,000 euros no, not cover the access itself. That's true for the remitting, right? Mm -hmm. And so they were asking what does it mean and what expenses do the SME bear? So in that case, yeah, maybe this table summarizes very well. So for the, you can explain maybe better for the remade SME or for the remade in what is called. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, for remade SME, you have to remember that the, the remade SME, you don't need to, you won't see any money. It's everything is a voucher scheme. So you apply, you get the access granted and you do your experiments, you get the results. There's no money in between. For remade in the East, uh, this grant that, uh, as Nuria is saying, it, it covers everything related to the access except the beam time. We, you are welcome to pay for the um, access, the beam time, or to apply uh, for beam time via competitive calls. I think that's why we recommend you to talk to the facilities to see which options you may have. Um, and then the 30,000 euros, we left it very, very um, open because we know that we have very different facilities in our consortium. We are very, we are a lot. Uh, and then we have very different um, needs for our users. So it's very open to anything that is related to the access. Again, travel expenses, consumables. Do you need to buy some, do you need to design a sample environment, for example, to be able to do your specific experiments in one of our facilities? All these can be covered by these 30,000. In the application process, we ask you to make a, a small like budget for how you're gonna plan to use the 30,000 euros um, to, for, for your specific project. Okay, I hope it's, it's clear. Um, if not, you still have time to, to put uh, uh, the questions on the chat. There is another question, Virginia, that has already been answered by Gary Admans. Thank you very much, Gary. Um, regarding the confidentiality and the ownership of the, mm -hmm. of the results in each case. So maybe, um, so in case of SME, Gary already, uh, remit SME, Gary already answered that the results are confidential and the IP remains at the company and maybe you can comment on the remake in part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, yeah, thank you, Gary. Uh, Gary is also one of the work package uh, leads uh, of, of work package six of remake. So thank you, Gary, for, for your assistance on answering these questions. Um, for remake in, uh, the IP, that's why we actually request to have an IP agreement between the industry and the RTO. So their relationship is clear before the start of the project. Um, and, and then the, um, so the IP of the results will be defined by that. Uh, again, it depends on the relationship that they have for themselves. We, we don't define anything here. It's up to, it's up to the applicants to decide how they want to, how they want to address the IP uh, among themselves. Um, from the part of remade, we, we will not keep any IP ownership. And, uh, also we have very, um, small publication requirements. In the case of Remade Int, uh, if it's a SME, there's no publication requirements again. It's a, if it's a larger industry, then we require to for you to publish your results if um, if they could fit on like a on on a publication. So if if they are good for being published, we we ask you to to please do so. Um, and I think that kind of covers a bit the. Yeah, the, the confidentiality and the publication requirements. Yes, thank you, Virginia. Mm -hmm. I don't see, yeah, there is another question now. Ah, if uh, mm, there is a question um, asking that if there will be a follow up uh, from the uh, European uh, Commission um, that will support similar calls. Well, that's. I don't think I I I can answer this question. I would maybe, hope so. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can add something. So there is already uh, another project uh, very similar to Remake, but focus but focused on nanotechnology, which is called Rihanna, and it has a very similar call. It will have. It has a start this project, and it will have a very similar call, similar to the Remake in one. Um, for SMEs, that will be for SMEs, and, and for nanotechnology projects. 
And then uh, hopefully other, other options will also come, um, I don't know if soon or not, but I think that all research infrastructures are very, really very interested in um, having more opportunities like this and, and yeah, hopefully there will be other options. <laughs> Yeah, I, I may add that um, I, I would say that if if we made in this, it, there's a has a lot of interest from from the industry because it's it's one of these projects that uh, is very unique in the sense that, that it has no limitation of the type of industry that can apply uh, would be very would be very good to support then that the continuation of this sort of uh, grant system supported by the will give us the tools to to say this works, this is very interesting, this is useful for industry, and we need more of that. So I welcome you, I encourage you to apply uh, so that we can we can show how, how much interest there is uh, to projects like this. There is also another question, Virginia, and I think also a very important one. Um, if a company does not know about uh, our techniques, about the techniques that Remate is offering, um, how can we support them? Do they need to know the, the, about uh, the, the techniques or there is this support from the project? Yeah, I think this is one of the very important things because you do not need to know. Um, we have this work package. We have a network of postdocs that are also um, hired by the project. We have an expert network. We are there to help you figure out which one of our techniques can help you. So you do not need to know anything about characterization tools. You can just email us uh, and this in this email with your very generic question about any challenge that you may have as an industry. And we will be the ones that we will try to see and tap to, towards our network to see if we can help you. Um, and if we find a technique that suits your needs, then we can help you also move forward and apply to get the access and see if this is something that could be useful for you. At the end, we want to be able to connect you with the right facilities and the right tools that help your problem. But again, you don't need to know anything about characterization tools. Just email us and we'll, we'll support you through the journey. You have the email on the chat, and yeah. Yeah, I, I've already sent it. And there is another question. Um, yes, are the services limited to European companies? Yeah, that's a really good question. So the services are aimed towards European companies, but they're not limited to. So companies that are based outside of Europe, they're also welcome to apply. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And then maybe also another question uh, that maybe people can have. Um, how many proposals per company can be submitted? And also the uh, an RTO can be involved in more than one um, remaking proposal? That's a very good question. So, so for remake SME is quite simple. So we ask uh, SMEs can submit one proposal per call. Um, and in, in very well justified cases, they could submit two, but but the, the limitation is that one proposal per call. In the case of remate in, um, we also have this this similar limitation. So industry companies can su can submit one proposal per call, but we know that RTOs give service to very different. Uh, industry. So RTOs are welcome to submit more than one proposal. They can submit as many as they want. However, um, in case of um, equal ranking, in case of competition, we will um, we will try to support projects that are from uh, RTOs that have no accepted proposals. So if you submit two proposals and one of your proposals has the exact same um, rating than some other RTO, then we will give we will uh, support um, the the other one to try to uh, spread the the support as much as we can. Thank you. Um, another question about the deadlines of the calls for the remate team. It's clear that last call it's already written here it will be at the end of August, and no more calls will be uh, launched during the remate. And what about the SME call, Virginia? Mm -hmm. Um, so SME calls, we have this continuous application. It is true that we have a bit of like a, a closing period between the 16th of December and the, the 16th of January. This is for ourselves to, to implement if we have to implement any, any upgrades on, on, on the call or like any, any small changes. Um, 
and because we we thought that maybe over over the Christmas period uh, or the the Christmas holidays there would not be that much that much activity, but the, it's essentially continuous. You can submit the proposal anytime uh, until the end of the project, which is going to be uh, 2026. Just you know, uh, respect or like we will not be processing your proposals like during the Christmas break, but otherwise you can just submit them anytime. Is there any other uh, question from the audience? So there is one question. Could the industry use the, the 30,000 euros, euros to work with a scientific service company? Yeah. Yes, exactly. I think that's why we keep using this research and technology organization as a generic term. We also call them knowledge providers. But yes, any 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 type of service company that that could act as this RTO, um, also universities, also research uh, uh, organizations can do that. Yeah. And who is the applicant, Virginia, in this remote in call? Ah, uh, that's a very good question. The main applicant is the industry, as they are the ones holding in the 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 challenge, the problem. Um, so we define it this way. But they they essentially apply. Um, together in this partnership. Any other question? It's very good that we had quite a lot of discussions. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, we are here uh, to, to, you can always contact to this email that we send and yeah, we will answer the question that you may have. And I don't know, maybe we can finish the, the webinar, like yeah. me and Virginia. I can do this. Yes, that was very interesting webinar, Virginia. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, for giving the platform to speak. And thank you, everyone, for the questions. It's really interesting. Uh, and it's, it's very valuable uh, to see how engaged you are. In, in, in asking the questions. So thank you for that. And if you have any questions for Remed or for industry, please uh, feel free to contact um, Work Package 6. They have shared their email address over the chat. And if not, you can always find us on our webpage, uh, on social media. Please do come and follow us. Uh, you will always find the most up-to-date information on our webpage and on social media. Thank you all for joining in. Um, this There will be more talks coming soon, uh, monthly. Please do come back um, and we wish you all a really nice weekend. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in our next webinar. Thank you so much for joining in. Ciao.